Hello, the postman's just been and he brought me this. It's a Sharp EL9900 graphical calculator. And if I switch it on, you can see that it's got a bit of a fault. Uh, quite a few of the columns and rows on this display are not working. Uh, so I thought I'd have a go at trying to uh, repair it and I produced this little video as I went along uh, to show how I've done that. Uh, one of the reasons for this is I think that my uh, repair attempt is going to be uh, pretty ham-fisted. So it might be that someone out there seeing this will be able to comment underneath and say that, well, actually, no, the, the correct way to fix this is this. Uh, otherwise, if not, well, maybe it might help someone else uh, get their calculator working. Anyway, uh, the only way I can actually diagnose what the fault is and try to repair it is to take the calculator apart and see what goes on inside. So uh, let's crack on and get on with that. Fortunately, there aren't too many screws. It's just one, two, three, four, five in the corners there. There's a little screw here in the bottom of the battery compartment that's also been removed. And then there are a series of plastic catches. So if you squeeze the white plastic in, the back should pop off. Uh, you might need uh, something like a guitar pick to pop these ones down at the bottom out, but otherwise that should then just fold open like this. And this gives us a view of where I think the fault is, is this little ribbon cable up here uh, that I think will need to be stuck back down to the board. I've put the batteries back in, but to power the calculator up you need to press this switch on the back here, otherwise it won't switch on. And if I now switch that on there you can see Oops, so we've still got this problem with the screen, but if I squeeze the cable at the back there, some of the columns come back to life. You can see here uh, the sort of S in press has a line through it. So I think just sticking this ribbon cable back down should hopefully uh, bring this calculator back to life. But how am I going to do that? Here I've got my soldering iron that I've warmed up to 250 degrees Celsius and I've got a flat and clean tip on it. There is absolutely no solder on there. I've got that as, uh, as clean as I can get it. And I'm just going to apply this carefully and gently over the ribbon uh, in the hope that I might be able to stick it down again. Um, and I'm just going to work my way along and uh, just like this, just little, little amounts just to see what that does and if there's any improvement and that's a good thing you see I'm just gently just pressing down running the soldering iron along the cable in the hope that this might stick it back down and now that I've done one pass the trick is to then flip that over and see if that's changed anything Not yet, but actually, I know that S is still at fault, so that was around here. Let's try concentrating at this end. Let's be a little more... Let's be a little more bold. I'm just going vertically, I'm trying not to move uh, horizontally like that, I'm just pressing down like that, and see, no, that has not helped at all. Well, I'm just going to keep on at it, that's around here. Oh. Might just be my imagination, but that's looking a little, little better. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe. Maybe. Let's just keep on keeping on. Oh! That's definitely improvement at this end. And that missing, missing row has... Oh, it's a bit, bit temperamental, but that missing row has come back. I think we're making progress, slowly but surely. I'll just keep on keeping on. Well, this end is now looking much better. This end is uh, not quite there yet. 
And that missing rope has been completely fixed. I don't know if you can see that because of the, uh, the focus, but it's definitely an improvement. And I'll keep on at it. Score. I think at this point there is only really one, I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera, one column that's missing. And that I think was around there. And let's, uh, let's have a graph, so it's at this end. I need to concentrate. <sighs> One problem with doing that is that uh, this tiny little fine wire has snapped off the board, so I'll need to resolder that. And that says it's the backup battery, so hopefully that won't impact my attempt to do the other repairs. No, we've lost one there. It's definitely around here. All data cleared. That's not what we wanted to see, is it? He's around here. Oh, and now I've lost the, the main power supply lead, so I'll need to resolder that. And after a bit of back and forth with the soldering iron until I could chase down the last few columns, uh, I think that screen is looking pretty good. If I hit the clear button there, all data cleared, you can see this black bar goes all the way across with no missing columns anymore. Uh, press any key, uh, let's go there, let's go into the options screen. You can see the LCD contrast is a bit too high, uh, but other than that, that's now looking pretty good. I'm going to uh, snap this back together and uh, give it a clean. Actually, first things first, before reassembly, I'm going to have to resolder some of these little thin wires that have snapped off the board here. I guess my repeated uh, folding and unfolding of the calculator has caused those solder joints to fail. Um, but they are very thin uh, wires there. So uh, yeah, if I just clean those up, resolder them to the board nice and securely, uh, then I shall fold it back together, check this all still working. And if it is, then I shall uh, yeah, give the casing a bit of a clean. The wires are resoldered and it all seems to be still working, so uh, let's get that back together. And there we have it. I've given the casing a clean and stuck in a new memory backup battery and the whole thing seems to be working again. The uh, screen has no more missing rows or columns in it. Now I did mention it's a bit of an imprecise fix. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it. I'm pretty sure it's not the best way to do it. Uh, but it's a way that I've found has worked, and I've seen some other people say that such uh, fine-pitched uh, ribbon repairs are impossible. Well, here, as you can see, it does sometimes work, so if you've got any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Um, otherwise, see you in that next video. Thanks for watching.